Hi guys, this is Devashree and you're watching me on Naika TV. So today I am going to show you a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing. This is a very glamorous look that you could wear to a New Year's party and it's easier than it looks. So let me take you to the look. So I'm starting off with my eyes first and not my base makeup and for that I am going to use this tinted brow gel from Ciate London and I'm going to use this uh, to tame my eyebrows today. This is going to give a light tinge of colour and it's also going to uh, brush it really well which is why I really like this. Next, I am going to apply some concealer on top of my eyelids. This is the Essence Creamy Concealer. I really like this. I'm using a creamy concealer because it's much easier to blend on top of your eyelids. The powder that I'm using is from Maybelline. This is from their V Face range. This is in the shade Medium Dark and apply that on top of the eyelids just so that I get to set the concealer that I've applied. So now I am going to apply a winged liner. This is the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. This look is going to be very simple. So any matte eyeliner that you have will work very well for this look. Next, I am going to use the NYX Glitter Primer. This is an absolute must if you are going to use glitter anywhere on your face. So I'm going to apply the primer onto the outer corner, right on top of the wing. This is a golden glitter and I'm using the one from the Faces Stackable. So I'm not going all the way into the uh, inner half of my eyes. I'm just keeping it on the outside, just on top of the eyeliner. Now I'm going to apply the glitter onto my inner corner, right here on my lower lashes, just halfway through. In case you have really heavy glitter fallout, just use a cello tape to stick the glitter on it and use that to get rid of it from your face. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and then for mascara I am going to use this one from L'Oreal. This is their False Lash Superstar Mascara. So this mascara has a primer on one end which you apply first which really helps in giving that volume to your lashes and then you go ahead and apply a second coat of the mascara on top of the primer. Before moving on to the base product, I am just going to apply this Pout Prime Smoothening Lip Primer from MUA. This is going to keep my lips prepped and all primed for the matte lipstick that I'm going to apply. And I'm doing this before my base makeup so that it gets time to get absorbed. Next, I am going to apply a primer all over my face. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. This is going to make sure that your foundation goes on very effortlessly. It just glides in and blends very well. And it's also going to make your skin look really nice in pictures. Next, I am going to apply foundation and this is the Iba Halal foundation and I am in the shade Golden Beige. First, apply it like using dots all over my face. And then I'm going to take my YPP Makeup Perfecting Sponge and I'm using that to blend the foundation onto my skin. So I'm just doing the same thing uh, for the other side of my face as well. I am just dabbing the sponge like this, just so that the foundation blends. And this foundation blends really quickly and very, very well on your skin. Now I'm going to apply concealer underneath my eyes and also onto the center of my face. I am going to use the Essence Match to Cover Cream Concealer. This is in the shade Natural Beige and I am just going to take this shade right here and I'm going to use that underneath my eyes. This concealer is 
very very creamy and I love the consistency of this. It's super easy to blend. Also the brush that I'm using is from Nashio. It comes along with the bronzer that you're going to see very soon. Now I'm also going to take the concealer onto the bridge of my nose, on my chin and also on my forehead a little bit. Now I'm going to take the Maybelline V Face Duo Powder. This is in the shade Medium Dark. So I'm going to use this again to set the concealer and my base. This one is really good at keeping that shininess at bay. So this is going to make sure that the cream and liquid products that you use do not move and if you have an oily t-zone uh, the powder is going to make sure that it's going to soak up all of that excess oil next to contour my face i am going to use this nashio contour palette i love this it is super duper pigmented it has three shades in it there is a medium tone and a dark tone contour and also a highlighter. I am just going to take this Nashio brush and use that to contour my face. And when you are applying the contour, just make sure that you are applying it onto the hollows of your cheekbones right here. I am also going to take the smaller brush and use that to contour my nose. That's it for contouring. Moving on to blush, I am going to use this one from Essence. This is their Blush Up Powder Blush and I am using the shade Pinky Flow. It's very affordable and you get a really good product for the price you pay. Moving on to highlighter, I am going to use this one from Faces. This is actually a liquid highlighter and this is their Ultim Pro Metalli Glow. This is in the shade Champagne. I am going to apply the highlighter right on top of my cheekbones where I applied the blush, like right on top of where I applied the blush. And I'm just going to use my fingers to blend it first. And then use my sponge to blend it further. So I'm using a liquid highlighter for this look because I already have chunky glitter on my eyes and I don't want that to clash with the eyes and with a liquid highlighter like this it really helps in uh, highlighting the face without looking powdery. I am also going to apply a little bit on to the tip of my nose just to make it pop and then I'm just going to take a little bit on to the cupid's bow as well. Next, uh, for my lips, I am going to use this lipstick from NYX. This is from their Soft Matte Lip Range and I love this shade. This is called Copenhagen and it's a very dark, vampy, ox blood lip shade. Last but not the least, I am going to use this Makeup Academy Pro Base Fixing Mist. This is going to make sure that the makeup is going to last all day and all night long when you are partying or celebrating New Year's Eve. And yeah, this is the finished look. So I am going to link all of the products in the information box down below so that you guys can check it out and create something very similar. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to Nika TV for more videos like this. You can also subscribe to my channel. The link is in the description for you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!